Folks, it's January 11th, and I wanted to bring you over to one of the destination plots that I plant and just show you, being transparent, what really is left here after a long season with pretty decent weather and a pretty high deer population. I've got almost two acres of food here that I planted and they're still using it pretty heavily the reason I know is because I just accessed the field from behind me in that corner and I'll turn around up through those trees underneath all those pines over there I just put up nine doe that were bedded right there next to the food. Now, <laughs> it's hard to say that there's a lot of food here because it doesn't look like a lot, but everything is still real green. It's only lip high, but obviously it's the only real food plot around something different than just grass like beyond out here it's just regular old grass um, in these plots when I planted the fall blends that I put in this was a no BS plot from Domain and I overseeded it or I should say I incorporated at planting about four pounds of a four-way clover and there's a lot of clover here I'm gonna transition these plots into clover next year this one behind me and there's a screen here and a little spot here in between that I always plant Look at this path. This was a this was a seven eight foot tall screen that's all fall fallen down and all decayed from the winter time. But this center portion here, I called it a cream filled goodie. <laughs> this was all brassicas in here, and I always would put a tree stand over there, and that's where I shoot some of my does from. But yeah, the side plot over there is going to be all clover this year coming. I'm going to put a fall blend in here. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot left in here either. And that far one, just beyond this screen, was Boss Brew from Domain. And that was blended with four clovers as well through here and get an eyeball on that. But yeah, this is almost a whole acre here. So, tons of, tons of uh, clover in there. And the thought behind that was, Whenever all this fall stuff withered away, that I was gonna be transitioning this all to clover anyhow. So I went ahead and got it in there. And having it get established now so that I can have a good start on it. And then in a couple of months here, I'm gonna be frost seeding more clover into it. So the two sides will be total clover. And uh, this here was the green mile. I called it the green mile. The whole length of the field on the edge, like a buffer zone, out about 10, 15 feet, I had a blend of stuff that I just threw together. It wasn't anything particular, but I had this buffer zone. And the deer would come into the field through this woods behind me. 
and they would stop. And it's a good way to get a good look at whatever you want to shoot. But just for fun, this year, I'm going to turn this around. I put in a scrape tree. Now, it doesn't look like much. Right? But this thing was a hotbed this year. Look at the dirt. I mean, they tore this thing up. They destroyed it. Come rut time. I mean, they the licking branches were destroyed. I mean, these were these were branches that stuck out out to here. You know, they've got them all. You can see there there's branches laying here. They've got them all nibbled off and worked with their antlers. So the, the old scrape tree did work, and this this trail going out here, out into that center green field goodie part, as I like to call it, they really worked it. They, this was a main hub. They come right through here, and uh, I had a had a stand in that tree right there, as a matter of fact. And they like to come right underneath me here and jump the fence. And they'll either take a left or right or go straight out. But I just wanted to come over and show you that. Show you what's left. I mean, there's not. There's a lot of leaf litter here. But, yeah. It's, uh, doesn't look like a lot. But, they're still coming to it every night. And getting what they need because the woods were in terrible shape this year we had like absolutely no acorn crop at all this year horrible horrible for the critters I mean they're gonna they're gonna find stuff to eat no doubt but when you have a patch of woods like this and you can see that far through it and the browse line is way up above their heads it's not a real good thing but like I said they there's like seven eight hundred things that deer can eat out of the wild in the woods and uh They'll do whatever they got to do to survive. But when you plant something like this, it is a hotbed. They come for it. It's nothing to see 20 some deer out here in this little two acre plot just browsing away, just grazing. So, like I said, just wanted to show you what's left. And uh, look forward to planting real soon frost seeding here about the end of March or so and uh, bringing more videos to you guys so hope you all have a good holiday and wish you all a happy new year take care of yourselves be careful out there and uh, we'll be bringing some more food plots here in a couple months be sure to catch other content and podcasts and things that we've been doing on the channel. So uh, we'll catch you guys all later.